There is more to attraction than just how you look, your personality, your confidence, your value. All these things can make people feel connected to you, drawn to you. And they're more powerful than just how you look to the point that you don't even realize just how powerful they are at attracting others until today. Today I'm going to show you just those things that you don't even realize are making you are, are making others attracted to you. Number one, expressing your vulnerability. See, there is this law in the book called 48 Laws of Power, Law 46 states that you should never be too perfect. The reason being because envy, it breeds out enemies that you don't want to deal with and usually they, those people end up being hated more so than love. Whereas the guy that has flaws, he's seen as more relatable, more human-like and therefore he ends up being more liked. The point that I'm trying to get across here is that when dealing with the girl, you so many guys think that they have to be perfect to impress their perfect crush. When in reality, being somewhat vulnerable, showing some of your flaws is actually more attractive because she's not perfect either. Number two, you have a diverse library of music. See, there's a lot of research behind this and I've talked about this before, but one of the main things that makes you more attractive when you have that big diverse library is that you seem more complex and people actually like this better. Imagine you're with a girl, it's like you're putting her onto a new vibe versus whatever she's used to listening to. On top of the research that's shown that music can also help deal with anxiety. So whenever you're in an anxious situation like a first date or you guys are kicking it back at your crib, music can help set the mood and ease some of those chills. Yo, music is just good in general and it just helps overall. That's why, yo, at my house, I got Alexa, I'll be like, Alexa, play Frank Sinatra. Shuffling songs by Frank Sinatra on Amazon Music. And it's just to relax. Or Alexa, play some baby making music and it's just to get in the mood with my wife. The point is, it's always good to be hooked up in music. And when it comes to building that diverse library, yeah, I'm gonna suggest Amazon Music. Like these guys got you covered. They have thousands of music playlists and top stations that you can be streaming for free with no credit card. On top of that, because it's Amazon Music, you can also sync it up with Alexa and listen to it hands free. And I already have Alexa set up in my office and also in my home. So whatever the mood is, let's say I'm about to work out, I'm like, Alexa, put my gym playlist or Alexa, play my favorite artist, whether it's Drake or whatever. And the point is, it's just easier. It's hands free, it's instant, and you're set up in the mood. If I'm working and I wanna get in the zone, I'll put on some white notes to get into the focus mode. The point is with Alexa, not only do you have anything and everything you'll ever need, they make it hands free. On top of that, Amazon Music has over 10 million free podcasts that you can listen to. So it's not just music, again, that you can link up with Alexa. So Alexa, play my blank, which would be your favorite podcast, and boom, now you're listening to it, you're in the mode. And that's not even mentioning that with Amazon Music Unlimited, you could pretty much listen to any song you could ever think of, but here's where it gets good. For a limited time, new customers to Amazon Music Unlimited, you can try it out for three months completely free. You don't even need to put in a credit card, meaning that if you go to amazon.com slash TMF or click the link down below, you can try out Amazon Music Unlimited, which gives you access to almost any song that you can think of for free. Like, you again, no credit card, like, yo, why would you not click the link down below and take advantage of that? Like who, who doesn't like free music? And the cool part is that it renews automatically and you can cancel any time. Number three, tilting your head slightly. Now, your boy's been ahead of his time. I've been telling you for years now that your left side's your good side, but now you've probably seen the trend on TikTok, right? Everybody's showing how their left side is better than their right side. There's a scientific reason. See, your right side of the brain controls emotions. It's also the side that controls the left side of your body. So what ends up happening is the left side of your face becomes better at expressing emotion and that's why it ends up looking better than your right side. Number four is something I called quiet confidence. Nobody likes arrogance or a God complex. When somebody starts to brag about their success or about how good they are at something, it just becomes annoying, it becomes arrogant. See, the guys that are real attractive are the quiet ones, the ones that have nothing to prove. And that's the type of confidence that can be felt. You don't have to talk about it, you don't have to gloat, you can just feel the confidence of that person. They're never overcompensating, you never have to put a label on it. That type of quiet confidence, that's attractive. Number five, complimenting other people. Tagging along with the previous tip that I just talked about, those people that have quiet confidence, they're not relying on others to feel their confidence, they're just confident. Well, I would say it's the opposite for other people. See, most people do need validation. People love to hear a compliment about themselves and that makes them feel good. And when you're the one that's dishing out the compliments, they're gonna wanna be closer to you because you're the person that makes them feel good. But here's where it gets even more interesting. There's also a psychological phenomenon called spontaneous trait 
transference, in which the adjectives you use to describe other people are the adjectives that people use to end up describing you, even if you're not that person. Let me explain. If you're the type of dude that's always saying like, yeah, man, that dude's so humble, man. Like, yeah, that dude's always super confident. Like, yeah, man, that dude's super successful. People are gonna start associating those same adjectives to you, even if you're not that guy. On the flip side, if you're the dude that's always bad mouthing, like, man, I can't stand that dude. He's so annoying. Man, that dude's a bum. Man, this, man. You're always bringing everybody down. You're going to be associated with the same adjectives that you judge others upon, even, again, if you're not that dude. And finally, number six, just own a pet. Man, this one's so simple, bro. Like, but obviously, don't go and get a pet if you don't love animals. But if you do, like, yo, get a dog or something. Here in the city, yo, I'll go out to the park with my dog. I kid you not, at least... Three to four people stop me, mostly girls, saying, oh my God, they're so cute. Now again, your boy is cuffed and married and happily married, but I'm over here sharing the tip for you guys that are out there still looking. Get yourself a dog, go to a park, and just watch how many girls will stop you to pet that dog. That's easy icebreaker at this point. Like That's like low-hanging fruit, bro. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Amazon Music. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.